Hey there, Mike here, The Fresh Rinse. And by request, I'd like to share with you how I started my pressure washing business nine years ago. Mike's Pressure Washing, Trenton, Ohio. About 15 years ago, my wife and I purchased a rental property on the outskirts of town in a not so desirable neighborhood. Up to that point, other than using an electric pressure washer to help my father-in-law paint a house many years earlier, I don't think I had ever actually handled a pressure washer. And so I began washing that rental property and it was a mess. I was having a blast, man. I was just going crazy and I was loving it. A neighbor came over and asked if I'd be interested in washing her home. And I thought to myself, wow, people get paid to do this? Like I was going crazy and just enjoying it. And I thought this is a good way to make money, perhaps. And so nothing came of that little inquiry. However, I went home and I told my wife that if ever we got ourselves into a financial position or if I was completely out of work, then to get us through that financial slump, I would post an ad on Craigslist back in the day and I would wash houses at least to get us through that season. Well, sure enough, several years later, in fact, nine years ago now, that time came. I was without a job. I had no money coming in and no promise of a job. And so, true to my word, I put an ad on Craigslist. The ad read something like this. Pressure washing <laughs> and interior painting. Because I had worked a little bit in painting with my father-in-law, I thought I would give that a whirl. And so, I borrowed that same pressure washer from the same friend and he also worked at a local cable company and unbeknownst to the cable company, they loaned me an extension ladder. On Craigslist, I found one of those luggage racks that slides into your trailer hitch. And then on the side of the road, someone had thrown out a decent plastic hose reel. And so with my wife's SUV, I put the pressure washer on one side of the luggage rack. I put the plastic hose reel on the other side of the luggage rack, a gas can in the middle, and strapped it down. I, of course, put the ladder on top of my wife's SUV, and I set out to start a pressure washing business. Now, I'm going to tell you, I had no idea that pressure washing was an industry. I thought I was starting something. Like, I had never heard of anyone ever doing this for a living. I thought I had invented this. Little did I know that that wasn't the case. And so I set out in the spring of that year and my intentions was to make ends meet until I found another job and, uh, and that was gonna be my means of income until then. And I did, I washed several homes, but I mainly did interior painting and deck staining. I hated that. I hated staining the decks, I hated interior painting. I really wanted to wash houses. Winter came and of course I had no money whatsoever. All the phone calls for deck staining, interior painting, and pressure washing came to a halt. And so I had to get a job and I found a job in a warehouse and I worked all winter long. Come spring, I decided that I would try this venture again with Mike's pressure washing and I would ditch, totally ditch, the deck staining and the interior painting. I'm only gonna do Mike's pressure washing. And little by little, I began to get phone calls. Now again, I had no idea that this was an actual industry. And in my mind, you could not wash if it were below 60 degrees or so. So it was probably maybe even May before I started washing and we were dead broke. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how broke we were. And so I began washing, and that year I washed almost 200 homes with that 2.7 gallon a minute machine. I washed all summer long, and then I had to get another job. And I got a job driving the city bus in our neck of the woods, and so I did that all winter long. Come spring, I decided to try it again. Same pressure washer, that that time I blew up very quickly. 
So I bought another 2.7. It was a Simpson. Simpson pressure washer 2.7. And I set out to continue washing houses. I still had no idea that this was an industry. I got on YouTube, novel approach to <laughs> education. And I learned that people actually did this for a living. And I saw all of these big, ginormous rigs. And I thought these people actually have some sort of special education. Like I had no idea that you could just start a, a business like this and that it could develop into something. They were using this product that they called sodium hypochlorite. I thought that you had to have a license to purchase it. For two seasons, I watched houses climbing on ladders, moving it every five feet. I can remember pulling up into neighborhoods hoping that the home would be small because I didn't want to wash a big house. I hated climbing ladders. I did that for two seasons. And so then I discovered that there were actually pressure washing groups on Facebook. And so I joined all these groups and I began asking all of these crazy questions. What is SH? What's a downstream injector? What are you guys talking about? Well, it came time to buy another pressure washer. And so I went on to one of the pressure washing groups on Facebook and I asked, what's the best pressure washer that I can buy $400 or less? Again, I had no idea about gallons per minute. I knew nothing about, this is two years in. I knew nothing about pressure washing. I still had no idea. This guy jumps on there. I guess he was tired of reading all my stupid questions. And he private messages me and he tells me that it had nothing to do with pressure, that I needed to focus on gallons per minute. And if I'm not mistaken, he was a firefighter full-time and he was a part-time pressure washer. And he told me to go to Sherwin-Williams and to buy their four gallon a minute machine, Honda engine with a general pump. Really, as good as it gets for four gallons a minute. It was $1,650 and they had a 20 inch MyTM surface cleaner and it came with 50 feet of hose. I was scared to death. I had to finance it because I didn't have any money. And I paid it off in just a few months. It came with a chemical injector, this crazy little device that allows you to siphon chemical or solution through the hose. And so I found out that sodium hypochlorite was bleach. So I began going to Dollar General and Family Dollar and I was buying bleach by the gallon and it was quite expensive. And then one day I discovered that sodium hypochlorite is also chlorine. What about that? I found a place where I could buy a whole case of chlorine for nine dollars that was seven years ago price has gone up since then and so i began downstreaming sodium hypochlorite total game changer no more ladders unless absolutely necessary i went from washing 200 homes to 250 homes in one year i washed almost 300 homes and i saved up enough money to buy an eight gallon a minute machine I'll never forget when that tractor trailer backed up to my house and dropped that skid off in my driveway. Wow. Now I had to have a buffer tank. So I had an old trailer. I put that eight gallon a minute machine on that trailer. I had the buffer tank and I had that 20 inch surface cleaner. I've rigged up some kind of ladder rack. <laughs> and. Here I am washing with a real rig. I'm here to tell you it can be done. I didn't even know that it was an industry. I thought I had invented something. As it turns out, people have been doing this for quite a long while. That's how I started Mike's pressure washing, all glory to God. And last year I had 451 projects. That's crazy. All right, I'm sure there's more to that story that I've left out, but I thought you might be interested in hearing that, and several have given that as a request. So there you have it, how I began Mike's pressure washing nine years ago. My name is Mike. 
They call me the Fresh Rinse. And I'm out.